We back, City Street. Did you miss us? I don't know, baby. Oh God, I'm infested by pigs. Please save me, Fred Summer. What? Uh, we need. I may see things or are there way more pigs than before? <gasps> Where are they all coming from? It's obviously from the guy that we imprinted and helped him sell the pig thing in the previous episode. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Just keep our eyes peeled for the pig that's real. No time to waste on the fakes, let's go. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it! Dude is reading, eating some seriously bad vibes. Also, fire. Hmm. Do you want to see what's going on in his head? Uh, no. We have to focus our efforts on finding the true gold bore. As opposed to that pre all the previous instances where we went out, out of our way to help those guys. Even if we erase what devil's within, it would benefit us little, as opposed to that previous guy, which we helped because Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Yu-Gi-Oh! is relevant to the plot. I mean, from a narrative point, this makes zero sense because we had the time to help out those other guys, which contributes nothing to the story, but we don't have time to help this guy. Why? You wanna explain this, Square Enix, huh? No sign of the true gold pig. Yeah, and I don't think we're the only ones looking for it. Jeez, you think? <sighs> I hope Miss Banks will be there. Huh? Hi, you're a fan of hers or something? What? What do you mean, what? Eh? I mean, why are you asking? It's just, I didn't realize your interest extended beyond the realm of rivers. Come on, let's go for the gold pig while they're distracted. Or we can kill them. Boars inbound. Thanks for pointing out those pigs, Nagy. They could have really done a number on us with their one damage. Aww. More fakes? We didn't get a single damn point. Also, we could literally have just, like, uh, ignored them because I don't even think they have any attacks. And even if we did, we take no damage anyways. <laughs> yeah. I'm here too. Did this song just tell me to kiss my mom? We ate my smell senses are tingling. Ah, it's this asshole again. Hell yeah, I do this curry brewing nearby, baby. I don't know. Are you sure he's not culturally appropriating curry? What kind of stupid line is that? The one that four kids made when translating this this Japanese game. What are you planning on opening? Um, sometime this week, maybe, or next? Okay, bye. He's still sucking some kind of rut just like before. Maybe you should stop culturally appropriating your curry. Huh? Would that help? That would seem like it would help a whole lot. I was just really looking forward to eating some of your culturally appropriate curry. It smelled so good that we couldn't help resist coming in for a culturally appropriated bite. You're not gonna let this one go, are you? No, of course not. I had a few customers come in when I was open earlier. Not all of them left happy, though. I tried to ask them why, but they all dodged the question. Kind of like they were afraid of me for some reason. I have no idea why. Later. I wish I could have tried all the different flavors. I would have ordered them all. But I don't want my boyfriend thinking I'm a total pig. Only a partial pig. I know the completionist struggle all too well. <laughs> I just ordered all three, but not everyone has a black hole in place of a stomach like me. That's right, 
I am canonically Kirby. The masses have been surveyed. Yo. Thanks, kid. Learn anything? Yeah, we learned the importance of in order to make your restaurant be something the masses want to eat, you should worry about how your food actually tastes like, instead of worrying about what people say on Twitter. Because those people, they don't not actually want to eat your food, they just want to complain about it. So that's why you shouldn't worry about it at all. Thanks, kid! You changed my entire life around! I'm going to listen to you and listen to what my gut says instead of random people on Twitter who don't even eat my food. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm -hmm. Damn right I am. Later. My concern grows the longer the young lady stares at her phone. Her father would never approve of such a bridal use of technology. Why are you staring at a young lady? This isn't dangerous at all. Well, actually, no. She's not staring. He's not staring at the young lady. Uh, he's staring at her phone. He just really wants that new model. A charming yellow ass, regal bee with tails of electricity Pokemon. It sounds ever so romantic. Oh, I long to hear more tales of true love inside of a gotcha game. Oh my god, a guy with an actual character design. Well, look who's washing sure. A pack of big vultures. He has his own theme song and everything. I must say, I didn't expect you to divert from the mainstream like that. Why are you talking like that? Because I'm a weirdo. Gotcha. We just arrived in a formidable damn along case. You've floated along into a little tributary. What the heck are you talking about? I have no idea. I have like seven word of the days. The River Society. Um, who are you? Hmm. I have actual eyes. I am the one and only Fuya Kawahara. I'm predicting it this I'm predicting it right now. This guy is gonna be the first to die because he has such a simple character design and all his teammates are also uh incredibly generic looking. Listen, you swaggering swagger de swagger swagger. Made out of swag. I sure like the cut of your gibberish. Cohen Dudley Doodly 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 you don't belong here, so scram. You would ask us to retreat before we could claim a rifle the reward? Also, look at my face, I'm clearly a wimp. Of course I'm going to die first. So maybe you should just cut your losses and split. Like a banana. I added that last part. Eh. I appreciate the advice. But my comrades and I didn't make it this far by simply going with the flow. It's been up steam, upstream swim, but we made it here through sheer grit and determination. While our intel suggests your friend here is quite formidable. <laughs> That's precisely why we put preparations in place so as not to get swept away. You know that I'm being serious. Because I use a lot of puns. Uh oh, we're surrounded! As opposed to last time we were where we were also surrounded. And still kick those guys' butts. See, see what I mean by this game uh, requiring you to be to perceive these guys as a threat. 
and it doesn't work and it falls apart when you just kick these guys' asses with three buttons. See, that that's why the stakes in this game are non-existent, is because it's too easy. It not just be people, pigs too. E even though the pigs deal no damage. We will not allow ourselves to drift away when the going gets tough. If we merely float along wherever the river life takes us, then we could form our own river-based comedy troupe. Full of comedy and not dying. And we will fight for the right, you, using the powers given to us. <clears throat> And return to the headwaters of the Ugg. Uh, Rin dude? I'm gonna be totally honest, I have no idea what this guy is saying. Can we go kill him now? Yeah, sure, why not? I know exactly what you kids are thinking. How am I, weak as I am, going to strike fear into your hearts? The truth is I'm not. Uh, please don't hurt me. <laughs> Look who's up the creek without a paddle now. That's right, still us. <laughs> row, 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 all you want. But you won't go gently down this stream. Rejoice, comrades. The golden swine is all but ours. Wario. <laughs> There's no way out. Also, this is a unique uh, image using the black and white Power Rangers, so there you go. Gah! Huh? Wait, I remember this feeling. This mean there's a chance I can change things? Or we can fight them as they are now? I'm pretty sure we will win. See what I mean about things being challenging for the story? Because if it's too easy, the, cause the, there's no point in going to the past because we can literally just kill them all now. Mm, if I stop him from calling in reinforcements, it'll change nothing. It'll He'll still die. You do something about that pack of pigs. Then maybe we can turn the tables. The tables that are already turned. So... Later. Oh no. Um, excuse me. Well, what is Are you here to kill us? Yes, I'm here to kill you. On guard. Couldn't help you, but over here you talking about those river girls. Oh? Huh? Are you a fit as well? Not really. I just came here to kill you. Not exactly. I just saw some info posted about him in Scramble Crossing. And I figured you might be interested. Nice try, but I'm onto you. I bet you're just trying to send us downstream so you can float yourselves out of last place. Ha 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 You see what I did there? Rivers? Rivers? Water? Rivers? Yeah, we know. Shut the f*** up. Fearless floats up. Are you a fan? Hers? Something? What? What do you mean, what? I mean, what are you asking? I don't remember what voice I was using. You bad pig. Yeah. No, hold on. What Rindo Borns? I said, hold on, those are just fakes anyway. <laughs> um, funny. There's just not that into. Paradoxograms, they're not my true passion. So I guess you won't be trying to catch the girls before the show or anything. No, I'm not that big of a fan. It's fear, although I'm pretty into myself. <laughs> really, I didn't think you were the type. What are your favorite songs? Aha, so you are into them. <laughs> you really like their new one, You Lied Again. Uh, Prexalilograms. Miss Anamina Banks wrote the history lyrics herself, so talented. Yes, yeah, see, so he is into them, and he just lied. 
made it to that like we were able to go. Yeah, not with the game how it is today. Oh. Yeah, well maybe we can sneak away for just a minute. I have a new voice now, by the way. But we have to know exactly when she's gonna show up. We can find out what time Miss Banks will be at Tower Records. Might be able to get these guys to go there instead. The stupid toys turned my soul into its filthy trough. Jeez, calm down. You just bought one stuffed animal. It's not like you spent your entire life savings. Unless if that guy tricked you, which he may as well have, possibly. One more, one more. And it's like it's something inside me, something evil. So someone's being a melodramatic maniac. Wow. The challenge in this game is off the notch. I just targeted one enemy and then splash damage just made the other guys have heart attacks. Why am I holding this ugly? What was my first again? I don't remember. Whatever. Oh, why am I holding this ugly pig toy? <gasps> A stuffed pig was behind his problems? Uh... His mind was corrupted by the evil boars born from the doll. <coughs> Will you please stop saying that? <coughs> See, I knew it. They were evil. And you guys thought I did that 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 SpongeBob thing for no reason. I feel like we've seen too many pigs for this to be the only source. You think there's more? I don't know. Where do you even get this plush anyway? It was obviously from that one guy that we helped. Come on, Rindo, you, you with your galaxy brain, you can't even remember that. But I've got a bad feeling about this. I think we should investigate. Hmm. Huh. It's not like you to be so decisive. Almost as if you have something you're not telling us. You would tell us something like that, wouldn't you? Uh, uh maybe. This day is getting more and more complicated. Huh? See, even Ryoji has no clue how to sell those things. The stuffed animals are cursed. Like, by a witch or something? No, they're just incredibly ugly and I don't like them. There may be more than him than we assumed. By the way, I'm just going to accept this fact without questioning you. Because I'm a stupid teenager. Anyway, we have to stop him from selling too many of those plushies. Or else a whole bunch of people will end up cursed. But why? How do you know this? Because plot device. Obviously. I'll be back. That rice bowl is so good and it nourished my body and soul. I'll be back tomorrow. I feel like this is a completely different accent. That guy I just fought. He's the one, my ultimate 10 pin rival. No way he's gonna beat me the next time we play. Well, I really hope you win your first battle, Ashy boy. I would feel just terrible if you lost. Okay, calm down, Ash. Ash isn't even that good right now. In the new series, he doesn't even want to battle. It's just the ghost show. Congratulations. Soul Cry. Soul cries. I've got it. The swine so sweet it'll make your soul cry. I'm a genius, baby. No way he's gonna sell anything now. This Indeed, he's failing to capture the attention of the masses rather spectacularly. Perfect. Quite. Why are we doing this again? This is because plot device. What else can we do? Uh, Rindo? You there, buddy? We're going or what? Hang on, I mean, I need a minute to think. 
Gotta say your hell with words. I don't know who's talking right now. Oh, it's this guy. It's Bayonetta. Not the crazy guy would have. I don't. I, I legit don't remember what this guy sounds like. Not the phrasing I would have picked, but at least you've got a handle on imprinting. Um, what? Forgot my name? It's Karia. The reduced to Shiren strangers. Well, if I had to choose between them, I'd go after Deep River Society. I, I mean, obviously, since they're weak NPCs with no character models. I'm inclined to agree. The Deep River Society would be our most realistic target. Wrong button. If we want to win, we have to give ourselves an advantage. No, we don't. They're, they're weak. I mean, it would be one thing if um, the game made us battle them there with their full force and be like, Oh, they're too hard. They're it, and they basically made him like an unbeatable, an unbeatable boss battle scripted event thing. Then we would have more urgency in um in uh getting every advantage we can get. But as it is right now, they didn't even do that. So our last impression of them is one shotting them. So why are we preparing all this when we don't have to? Let's head over to Scramble Crossing first, so we can get rid of those uh, first two guys that we don't have to get rid of because they're weak. Hey, you. You're finally awake. 